Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here from Christ Fellowship in Hollister, on the side of the road, on the way to Big Sur. Uh, I'm stopped here because, not because I'm broken down, but because I wanted to show you a spot that Christina and I found by accident uh, not all that long ago. We went to the uh, beach one day in Carmel. We didn't realize that the beaches were closed. It was kind of like uh, Labor Day weekend, I think, and they had closed the beaches. So we thought, oh, bummer, we wanted to take a walk on the beach in the sand with Sherida. And so we started driving uh, south. We just thought we'd go a little ways and see if there was a place where people were hiking and maybe we could find access. Well, about a mile south of Carmel, as you pass Carmel Meadows is on the right, and you keep going, you see a little sign that has a sign for a schoolhouse. And there's this little turnoff with this little parking lot, like right here, it's like a little parking space along the road. There's only room for like five or six or seven cars. But at the back of this little dead end, is an entry to uh, a, a, a trail that goes to the beach. So we came down here, I'm not gonna walk the whole way because we don't have that long time. But so we came down here and we walked this trail out to the beach. Well, you don't even have to walk the whole trail to get the idea, check this out. There's just this awesome trail that goes all along this um, road. It's a public access um, trail. It goes down along somebody's field and then it kind of goes along all on the bottom of that hill over there where those houses are built up on and it just follows all along the coast and it's just it all the way leads all the way to Carmel State Beach uh, and anyway it's just an awesome hike in this hidden little um, nook just south of Carmel and the reason I'm telling you about it is this first of all I love to know like secret places like that you know that people find to go hike and explore but it kind of reminds me of the message that uh, Pastor Jonathan is going to share this Sunday. We have this um, book in our houses, on our tables, on our nightstands called uh, the Bible, the Word of God. And we often, uh, to be honest, we often think of it as maybe a little bit more special than our other books, but not that much more special, you know. And uh, we don't necessarily regard it as something that we should explore literally every chance we get. And so what Pastor Jonathan's going to share this weekend is just about the, the Word of God and its ability to revive and regenerate your soul and your spirit. Not only on Sundays, and not only when you first become a Christian, but your whole life. That the Word of God has been given to you kind of as a path to life that will lead you into knowledge, into truth, into adventure, into discovery about the Kingdom of God and what God's plans are for you, the power that exists there, the purpose, the assurances. There's so many different things that are um, discoverable in God's Word. And it's like, again, the, the Bible is almost, can, you can kind of sit there and become kind of like any other book, but it's not like any other book. It's a transformative uh, message from God directly to you. So I hope you'll show up on Sunday. It's going to be a great message. Hope you'll show up for worship at 10. We're going to be worshiping outside, just in case you're wondering. Uh, the churches are allowed to move inside, but have to limit it to 100 people. And uh, quite honestly, we've been having about 150 people. And uh, people just, I think, are feeling a little bit safer outside. So we'll probably stay outside for as long as we, the weather allows us to. And uh, we'll update you on that as well. But anyway, we hope you s to see you Sunday. Lots of great things going on in the life of our church. Um, check it out. Uh, the email is attached with all the different um, uh, things that are going on. A couple of special events next weekend. So come check out uh, Christ Fellowship uh, this weekend, 10 a.m. live, or catch us online. God bless you. God's doing amazing things among his people in our church and beyond. So I hope you're excited. Um, get engaged and check it out. God bless you.